Hey y'all, and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and two card or cards of the day. I do hope this finds you well. And as always, this reading is timeless and you will see it when and if you are meant to. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And let's get into our reading today and let's see what Spirit has for us. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. The lovers. Well, for some, it could be communication. It could be um, companionship. It could be um, trust and learning to trust and um, just being compassionate towards someone. This doesn't necessarily have to be lovers. This could be friends. This could be um, business partners. But this is someone that you... Um, you see a lot. This is someone that you have um, compassion for. This is somebody that's not a stranger. Um, but this could be communication between two lovers, two people that love each other. Um, and you could be coming to a kind of like a crossroads in, in your relationship where you're learning to share things more. You're learning to um, um, reach out to each other more. You're learning to depend on each other more and you're learning to trust each other more because with the lover's card it is about companionship and trust and love and all of those those good things. Um, it's almost like you can you are with somebody that sometimes you don't have to say it. The other one knows what what you're saying is that type of communication together but it's that loving trust and companionship that you've brought together um, and like I said this could be a business partnership maybe you've been partners in, with somebody in a business for a very long time and you just click together you just you know y'all worked good together your business is thriving because you know how to communicate you know what the other one expects and wants um, and you trust each other there's a big thing along with the lovers as with trust um, and with all of that, it brings happiness, and it brings joy, and it brings abundance um, and contentment. You see how the two are just content. So this is a very good card. You could either be, um, you know, joining a new relationship or learning these things that help make a great relationship. You could be in a part of your relationship where you've hit that great understanding of, like, I just get you. I just know what you want. I just know what you need. I, we just get each other. So you could be at that comfortable level. You know, you could be getting a lot more comfortable with each other. And this could have been someone that come along and has never been able to do that to get you to that trust level before. Let's see why the lovers are here. Four of Cups. So... There may have been, you know, a time where there was like that, that, I don't, I, I hate to use stagnation time, but there may be in that time where there's just that slow time where it just seemed like, you know, it just kind of got quiet and dull and there was not like a lot of excitement and a lot of things going on. So you changed things up. Um, you know, you started like going out on a different night. Or you started going to the movies and you didn't do that before. Or it's just like a little change of pace that you brought out that kind of changed the dynamics of things and kind of gets you out of that dull routine. It's like a routine that just kind of got dull after a while. You wasn't tired of each other or it, it was just a dull routine that needed to be like, you needed just to throw something in there different just to like take a break and and have a good time and forget about all the other stuff so the four cups is about you know it can be about boredom it can be about um not seeing something for something else you know so he he sees the three cups there but he doesn't he's missing an opportunity because there's a cup being offered to him so it's it's like saying don't 
maybe there's something being offered to you if you're in a business together maybe there's something being offered to you um, like a new uh, product or a new um, idea that that's being offered to your business that's gonna maybe change it a little bit that's gonna add something extra to your business that's going to put you outside the box just a little bit so it's saying don't miss this opportunity you know don't concentrate on that low part don't concentrate on that boredom part or that stuck part you know don't concentrate on that turn around and see the cup that's being offered to you the offer that's there a new idea a new plan um, just something new that's being offered that will help you get out of that rut or lull that you're in and bring you in a new opportunity let's pull one more card strength so this it's spirit is saying it's going to take you know your inner strength look into your inside yourself because you don't need to look for the answers around you. They're there within yourself. You know what your heart and needs to do. You know your intuition will lead you in the right direction. So it's saying, you know, use that inner strength. Look within yourself to find the answers. Because the owl is going to trust that when he lands on that, you know, that lion's head, he doesn't eat him. So that goes along with the lovers. There's a a type of trust there a type of understanding um, that you have because you've built that together so that owl is trusting that lion not to eat him and you as the lovers or as business partners are trusting each other that you will help the business grow for and to the benefit of both of you so look within that inner strength and that trust with that got you here and the trust within each other and you should do fine just don't um don't miss out on that opportunity that that may be there for you use your intuition and then communication and see too the owl and the lion they really don't have to communicate without like the owl, the lion doesn't have to literally say, I'm not going to eat you. The owl knows that because there's a communication between the two that tells them, I know what you're thinking. I know what to expect from you. As I was saying earlier with the lovers, you know, the, sometimes you get at that point where you you don't have to know what they're thinking or, or what they'd like to do. You just know because you have been together that long, whether it's business partners or lovers or you know partnership you've been there and you know what you, each other wants because you work together good that way and you trust and the compassion's there so you know what to expect from each other hope stay positive the worst is behind you look up to the light so maybe you've already been through this part right here maybe the opportunity has already come to you and you've already taken that opportunity and now you're moving forward because it's saying stay positive which I was saying with the strength you know look within yourself um, so just and when it says look up to the light I feel like that's like looking at your intuition looking within yourself and looking at your inner strength let's get one more animal card I'm yeah, about through all of them hold on they're a little bigger than my hand so it takes me a minute okay The peacock vibrancy you were born to shine and inspire practice humility to avoid jealousy be grateful for life and more good things will come be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance so there you go you were born to shine I would say avoid jealousy too would go along with this because um, you can't be jealous of each other. You can't be mad at each other for one idea of working over your idea. You know what I mean? So um, I feel like that very much goes with this reading. Um, 
but be true to yourself and and go to that intuition and that inner strength and work together and um, don't miss the opportunities that may be coming for both of you to you know make it make it make forward progress in and your um, business or in your relationship just don't miss that opportunity um, but because you've worked so well together and you understand each other so well I feel like you're gonna work just fine just you know just don't miss that opportunity make sure you don't spend too much time wondering why you're in the lull and look up and, and see the opportunities because they are there the opportunities are there for you um, and you're going to be very successful you just need to to not concentrate on what's not working and concentrate on what will so thank you for watching and subscribing i do appreciate everyone i do hope you have a blessed day and love and light